In a true mask of moment, comic book writer Mark Waite proudly declared that he and his peers would rather see the entire comic book industry burn than get together with whom he labels the alt-right. Emphasis on whom he labels, because to people like Mark Waite, anyone on the wrong side of Karl Marx is alt-right. What Waite actually means is that cancel pigs like him would rather see the comic book industry go down in flames than his ideal political cult lose control over it. Well, I got bad news for him and his fellow cult members. They're going to. I know a few comic book professionals, and of those still in good graces with the cancel pigs and whisper network hags, most are in a near constant state of stress and agony. They know that while they may be accepted by the Mark Waits and Heather Antheses and Alex de Campis of this world today, they have to constantly walk on eggshells. If they say one word wrong, if they're seen as being too friendly with the wrong people, hell, if they even fail to signal their fake virtue when they're expected to, they'll be cast out of the good company, ostracized, vilified, and finally declared to be part of the alt-right. No matter how centrist or even how leftist they may be, and no matter how compliant and virtue signaling they may have been up till that point, none of that matters the moment they step out of line. You're either in the good company, and I use the term good lightly here, or you're alt-right, i.e. a comic skater, someone who makes direct-to-consumer comics that aren't ideopolitical propaganda. And these people are worse than the devil. Such is the worldview of the Mark Waits of this world. And yet, so prevailing is that worldview that it is the reality of the failing comic book industry, an industry that is failing specifically because of cancel pigs like Mark Waits and his ideopolitical whisper network peers. To be clear, they are only the foot soldiers. There are proverbial generals, if you will, behind them who keep hiding and enabling these people, driving ever more and more readers away from Marvel and DC, and thereby away from comic book stores, and in the process away from any indies that might have been discovered there. While I'm sure Japan is grateful for all this new business for their manga industry, the Western comic book industry is in a state of collapse. And cancel pigs like these are a very big part of the reason why. And that is why I actually appreciate Mark Wade saying the quiet part out loud, publicly admitting that he'd rather have it this way than any other. The backdrop here is of course this one comic book retailer, who posted a video detailing how his 30-year comic book business is failing. Why is it failing, you wonder? Well, because these modern-day comic book writers for the most part write nothing but self-inserts and other assorted propaganda that no one in the comic book buying market actually wants to buy, no matter how much these inept writers think that they should. Acting in the most unprofessional manner that has become characteristic of professional comic book writers over the past decade, this retailer was attacked by them for speaking the truth, dogpiled and even insulted over his looks. Classy move that. The remaining sane comic book professionals who didn't participate in the dogpiling naturally kept their heads down and stayed out of it, knowing perfectly well that if they opened their mouth and failed to attack this man, they would be next because that's what cancel pigs do to their peers who fail to follow the herd. Except, of course, for Mark Miller. Unlike most modern-day comic book writers who need to be in the good graces with the cancel pigs in order to get more industry writing gigs and therefore the paycheck that comes with it, Mark Miller has a much bigger employer and fuck you money to go with it. As such, he no longer has to shut up and witness the cruelty of his cult-minded peers, so he spoke up. He defended the retailer who dared to speak out, and best of all, he coined the term cancel pigs, and I love it. That term alone, cancel pig, is going to destroy these people. You see, every generation has its own disease, some movement that the fascistically inclined among us will rally around. Problem is, up till now, we had no name with which to bind this particular beast. SJW doesn't really cut it. Being an activist can be good or bad depending on where and when you are. 
Case in point, most of those we call activists are useful idiots who, without realizing it, actually serve insidious corporate interests. Yet Nelson Peltz, who wants to restore Disney, is an activist investor, because that term is used in finance as well. In short, we need a new term to describe this particular brand of authoritarianism, and Mark Miller provided it. Cancel pigs. It perfectly sums up what these people are and what they do. They are pigs, and they cancel each other for even the slightest stepping out of line. The beauty with a term like this is that it signals so very clearly that these writers are not merely out of touch with the audience they should be serving, but that they are indeed part of a cult. The comic book industry at large is more than a hundred years old. It has brought joy to hundreds of millions in that time. It is a staple of Western culture in general and American culture in particular. Mark Wade's contribution to this institution is negligible, and the contributions of the other cancel pigs are non-existent to negative, because this institution is failing now because of them. But rather than even moderate or rein in their destructive ways, Mark Wade would rather see the entire industry go down in flames. That means he has no love for comics. He has no desire to entertain or delight the audience with his work. Mark Wade is a cancel pig, and if the comic book industry is to survive, cancel pigs like him has to be removed from it. Now that we have a shorthand to describe him and others of his ilk, that will be much, much easier to do. Now that the comic book audience are aware of the cancel pigs and how little a regard they hold the comic book industry in, it will be so much easier to leave their books to collect dust on the shelves where they belong, and instead pick up the books from those who right now have to walk on eggshells in fear that the cancel pigs might destroy their careers if they were to step out of the party line. The cancel pigs clearly hate comics, so no one should be reading comics written by cancel pigs any longer. I never got around to reading Mark Miller's Nemesis. I think I'll be doing that this weekend. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments.